Hey guys, so we are snowed in today. We've got about, I don't know, seven, maybe eight inches of snow outside and it's still snowing from the, I mean, I'm sure the whole East Coast has been hit with this snowstorm. So we are snowed in and the girls are in the other room reading. So I have a whole bunch of books out and I'm gonna share some of the, what we're reading for January. So I want to share what we're reading as a family first. See if I can, my camera will stay up there. Um, yeah, what I'm reading aloud as a family. And our read alouds, sometimes we do it during the day, sometimes I can do it in the morning as our morning basket. And then sometimes if I don't get it during the day, I'll read it as our bedtime story. And I'll just read a chapter. So, our big main book is On the Banks of Plum Creek. By Laura Ingalls Wilder. This is the fourth. We did we did not read Farmer Boy, but um, we just went ahead since my girls like Laura and Mary and Carrie so much. So this is what we're reading. We're also doing the Brave Writer Arrow to this. So Miet is doing the copy work and everything that that entails. So that is our main one. Another read aloud that I'm doing is from my Kindle, and it's Breadcrumbs by mm, Anne Ursu. I think that's who it is. And uh, that is for me at the book club with the other two neighborhood girls. So we're, I'm just reading it aloud because it's pretty long. I think it's like 315 pages on the Kindle. It says 315 pages. And it's a little bit harder than me at uh, reading capabilities. So it's just easier for me to read that one out loud. Um, sometimes, it depends on the book, but sometimes I read it out loud for her and sometimes I will just let her read it, or if it's a deal on Audible, I'll get it on Audible to help her. And then I really like, I really prefer with the book club books to get it on Kindle and add the narrate the Audible. It's a little bit cheaper that way, and it, it that way she can listen to it and it like highlights the words as it's reading. So they didn't have that option for breadcrumbs. So right now I'm just reading it aloud. I was reading it out loud for her bedtime. But Kinsey um, was enjoying it, listening to me, so she we just made it into a daily daily read aloud for all of them. Anyway, breadcrumbs, and then we also have been going through the Jay and Brett books. Our the library that we just started going to, which is in the next county, which is only like ten minutes away. It's right over our bridge, and um, they have a lot of Jay and Brett books. I mean. Tons. I'm sure they have like almost every single one that she has. So we just pick one each week and read it. This week, we haven't read this yet, but it's the first dog. Last week was Fritz and the Beautiful Horses, which was amazing. I love it. And so this, I'm sure they'll like, like it because it looks like Luna a little bit on the cover. So that's that. We're also reading Snow Queen by Hans Christian Andersen. And I'm we do well. This is one of our Christmas reads, but it's long. It's got illustrations in it somewhere, like that. Uh, and the reason I am still reading this and haven't packed it away for Christmas is because breadcrumbs, it like is the same basic story. So we really like seeing what the similarities are in that. And another one is. I haven't started this yet, but I'm going to start this this month with me at the care and keeping of you and for younger girls. It's a body book for younger girls. So, just goes over basic body care and the changes that are going to happen. So, fun times with that. I'm such an awkward person to begin with that it's going to be fun. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead with Kinsey's reading. She is just going through this McGuffey's Eclectic Primer. Primer? Primer. Oh, that word. <laughs> um, so that's what we um, are doing. And I've already d done this. I've said this in the um, my last video, my January homeschool update. I said we're on lesson two now. So very slowly going through this. This is a library book, but I will probably end up buying it because it's taken us a long time. Well, I can already see that it's going to take us a long time. And 
That's just Kenzie's. That's what she's reading to me. And then, ow, my wrist hurts. Um, Alright, for me at, she is reading a lot. She loves these Heidi Huckleback books. And uh, Santa Claus brought her a couple. So he brought her the first and the second one. And the third, maybe the third one? I don't know. Maybe it's just the two. And um, she's already read these since Christmas, but I wanted to add them on there because, I mean, they're not classics or anything, but she loves it. So I'm like all for it. And it's got illustrations, so it doesn't, like, um, what's the word I'm thinking of? It doesn't deter her away from it or scare her away from reading these because it's broken up by illustrations. So it looks more appealing to her. And also, she still reads these Rainbow Magic books. So this is the one that she's on, Cheerleading Fairy. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say about that. She wants to read it, go ahead. And another thing, another new series that Santa Claus brought was Frankly Franny. She is all about jobs and what people do and, I'm talking about me yet, and trying to make money and figuring out what job she wants, like it's her thing right now to talk about. So, frankly, Franny, like, I think each book goes through a new job that she gets. I don't know. I haven't read through it, so. I don't know. That's what it seems like. Yeah. So, she's, this is the first one. And then she also has doggy daycare because Mia is always wanting to walk her neighbor's dogs and wants to have a job walking dogs. But she's just not old enough or strong enough to walk dogs. So, that's what she's reading. And that's it. I mean... That'll probably take her this whole month to read these two books. These two right here. Alright, for what I'm reading, I'm a fast reader. I've said that several times. I go through books like crazy. It, it's just, it's a problem. And I have to read three or four books at a time. And it's easy for me to go from story to story to story to story to read four books at a time because... I can just rationalize, I don't know, compartmentalize, I don't know what it is, but I can just go with four storylines at the time and get absorbed into each story as it's happening. And so, anyway, so it would be, this video would be kind of too long and it's kind of hard to predict what books I'm going to read, but our library is doing a winter bingo and I have the bingo sheet somewhere. I can put a whole bunch of books on it. And it looks like this. And so I'm just doing that. And so it kind of makes me think about what am I going to read and make a plan instead of just grabbing some books, which is fine. I mean, I have no problem just grabbing books. I just discovered, it's not a new discovery, but I just finally looked at the Overdrive app and started using that. And that's amazing. That's a life changer. Like, I'm just like, we had these, all these new bestseller ebooks that you can just download on my Kindle. So I have been enjoying that. And so my reading has been like even more so now that I don't have to like, um, I'm saying like a lot. Now that I don't have to like request, now that I don't have to request books from the library and wait or hold on to them. Or put a hold on them, I mean. So anyway, what books I'm planning on reading, at least for these next two weeks, is uh, on my Ken, I just finished the story Life of A.J. Fickery. Fickery? I think that's what it is. And um, that was amazing. That was so good. I loved it. So I'm like, why did I... It's been on my bookshelf for a couple months now. And I, I don't know why I just didn't pick it up. And so I finished that one today, this morning. I am also... I'm reading Midnight Crossroads by Sh Charlene, Charlene Harris. She's the one who wrote all the Suki Stackhouse True Blood series. And I think it's a new show on NBC. I'm not sure if it's still on. But I liked the Sookie Stackhouse series. So I like the books better than I like the show. And so I'm giving that. It's okay so far. I'm like halfway through. So um, what else am I reading? After that, I also just got in on my overdrive. I had a hold on it. was The Bear and the Nightingale, which is like a Russian fairy, re fairy tale retelling. And what else? And I am planning on doing Libra Bray's, I don't know how to say this, The Diviners, or 
Yeah, I guess diviners. So this is a pretty hefty book. So this is going to slow me down a little bit, which is good. So this is going to take me, this is going to be my bingo marker for um, a book with a female main character. Because I already have it. This isn't a library book. I bought this from our um, a library book sale. So that is that. And I'm also going to read Sourdough, which is my book of the month pick. I just hit myself in the face by Robin Sloan. And this sounds really funny. I don't know if it is funny, but it's just about a girl that has a sourdough bread starter kit. Bread starter. And she kind of nourishes it. And just, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how. I mean, I, anyway. So that, this is going to be on as my, a book with a one word title. I think I'm going to go through these in another video. My next video, I will go through this and say what my, what the card spots are and what I'm planning to do, read for it. So be on the lookout for that. That is it. So see you later. It's going to show some of the snow. I've already shoveled our walkway. It's already covered. It's still snowing. See my husband's got this his old car that he's working on. Ooh, pretty. You like it, Luna? You wanna go outside? Said no. <laughs>